Hello, hello, and welcome to a little bit of a special episode uh, when it comes to be talking about our convention, which is literally only a month away. And I am lucky enough to be joined by Nick Hayes, uh, who runs Media Stable and is one of our platinum, well, is the diamond sponsor uh, when it comes to Professional Speakers Australia Convention 2020. Nick, how are you going? Very good, Russell, and good to be here. Very excited about convention. It's the one event of the year that... Uh, I can get to that not only do I love and adore and take so much away from, but for, as far as a professional development, not just because I'm not a professional speaker, but it's more so I just get so much from everyone that comes along. So really looking forward to convention. Can't wait. It's a fantastic room of people. Uh, and I know that it's experience that we're going to be talking about this year. Everyone's going to be sharing or creating an experience in the room. And I know that you've got a special uh, workshop on the Monday. And I'm not sure how much of that you can reveal, but I'll, I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. But before we get started uh, on that side of things, can you just tell everybody who's watching, what is Media Stable? The Media Stable is the platform that connects experts and commentators to the media right across the country. We've all got something to say. We've got content that we're producing or we're speakers in particular spaces that we are actually experts. So the media is looking for that. And what we do is we create that bridge connection to the speaker and also to the media. So whether it's radio, TV, print, online media, we find the places that uh, our experts can fit in with the media and the media uses us to find experts and commentators to connect with the stories of the day. So we are that bridge, we're that conduit, we're that connection and we're also that trusted partner for the media because the reality here is they don't have the people on the ground to find the speakers and the experts that are out there to come and be a part of their program. They depend on businesses like mine to go away and vet them, check them, and make sure they're good talent. And I've had a little bit of an experience with Media Stable myself, and uh, professionally I found it to be fantastic. But again, we'll talk to specific points of that in just a moment. Now, I asked you a question, uh, which I'd love you to answer uh, in a moment, but it's what is the number one thing that people should be considering when they're looking to do media? But I'm going to leave that a little bit toward the end of this interview, which isn't going to be too long, maybe uh, maybe 10 minutes or so. Uh, but what I'd like to know is, as far as PSA, I know you've been involved in Professional Speakers Australia for a little while now. What sort of success are members getting? Look, the members are getting a lot of success. I mean, it depends on how much energy and time that they've got to put into it. And it's like everything. You know, you get out what you put into it. Uh, so that some of the members there are doing extremely well. Uh, you've got a, your, your Speaker of the Year, Rowdy McLean, who only just yeah. recently joined us is already featuring on all the major radio stations around the country and got a, an eight minute piece on weekend television. That's, um, that's a great example of someone doing well. You know, you got a, you got a Steve Sammartino, sorry, it's not Steve Sammartino, Michael McQueen. Can't get futurists mixed up, media do. I tell you what, media do it and they do it quickly. But you know, you got a Michael McQueen that turns up to a meet the media and then finds himself on sunrise three days later. These, 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 are, these are your key speakers. These are your people that are, have got an expertise that are doing things. And if they present and put themselves forward, they'll get the results. There are going to be speakers and experts that are just going to sort of take a behind the scene look and, and, and wait for things to happen. You've got to really step forward. You've got to play a front bat to, to the media because if you don't, you're waiting a long time for an opportunity to present. But speakers generally... They do very well because they've got, they're very good in front of the camera, good in front of a microphone, and they've always got something to say. And that's what the media is looking for is, is people with opinions and something to say. Now, you mentioned the Meet the Media Day. Now, I've personally had great success out of that. I got an interview on the project, which is fantastic, directly out of that day. Uh, now, you've got something coming up very soon. Can you tell everyone about that? Because I think it's a national program. Yeah, sure. So the Meet the Media program kicks off in May. Uh, it'll be in Perth, Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, Perth, the 19th of May. Uh, you've got uh, Sydney on the 26th and Melbourne on the 28th. So all the key media that is in this country will be there. And they're looking to go away and meet speakers and experts to find out what they can be contributing to their program. But more importantly, for the speakers, just to understand what's going on in the media cycle, what's actually happening. You know, what can they do to make their content more appealing to the media? And that's the challenge for all of us is 
is just to get that foot in the door. And the beautiful thing about Meet the Media is that you get a relationship and a connection with the, with the people that you're engaging with because you get that eye-to-eye -eye contact. And it's not just your content now that's selling it to the media. There is a relationship. They've met Russell Pearson. They're going to make a great spot for the, uh, the project. They're going to do a great shot for the Today Show or Sunrise. It's an opportunity to really meet the people that are the decision makers behind the media. Yeah, and I think the great thing about that Meet the Media Day is if you are going to go along to it, go along to it prepared. So one of the things that I had, I had a couple of pictures uh, already prepped, and I don't mean a picture of a nice cat in a frame, I'm talking about a pitch that you're actually going to give to a media representative because you get the opportunity. You get the opportunity to sit in front of them, pitch a story uh, that's ideally aimed at their audience, and if they're, they're interested, they will let you know and they'll take your contact details. Do you have a, um, uh, is the, the short term frame, like we're talking about in the next couple of days that there is actually a promotion that uh, PSA members can take advantage of? So for this week and this week only, up until the 23rd of February, we've got a $100 discount on all tickets. And if you use the code MEDIASTABLE2020, uh, you book via Eventbrite, use up the hashtag Meet the Media, but use Media Stable 2020 and you'll get $100 off the ticket in Perth, Melbourne and Sydney. Well, that's awesome. Well, I'll get those details off you as well and I'll put that with either the email or wherever you'll find this video. Uh, and hopefully if anyone wants to take advantage of that, they can. Now, convention, convention over in Adelaide, uh, PSA 2020. You're creating an experience on the Monday workshop. What can you say? I can't share a lot on Monday, but I, I've got to reach out to everyone to let them know and know this, that if they come into the workshop on Monday, the experience that they're going to have with media is going to knock their socks off. They're going to learn how to deal with the media at the very, uh, on surprise, on the, on, the, on, the, uh, on, the, on the edge of the night, to go away and work with it quickly, to work with it fast, and to also see the real potential that media can be a part of their speaker's life. You know, we know that a lot of people out there can handle a media interview. They want to be speaking to the media, but in this particular workshop, we're gonna work through how you can make yourself far more appealing and give all the little things that what the media is actually looking for and, and bring that to your media engagement. Make you an absolute superhero when it comes to engaging media. That's what we're gonna get out of it. And that'll be the experience that you won't forget. Now I'm gonna push you to see if I can get anything more out of you. But it, it sounds to me like that some people might have the opportunity to, to practice. Now, I, the reason I bring this up is because uh, I did an interview, I remember years back uh, for ABC and the, the, the microphone was just shoved in front of me and I started to speak. Now I didn't speak, I didn't think in media bites. I didn't think about how people were going to use it later. And I think that let me down, I lost, the, lost the opportunity. So is there something in this session that people are gonna be able to use to maybe practice a little or what can you give me, anything? Look, I'm, I'm gonna give you one little thing, Russell, because it's you and because you have that natural ability to get this out of me, but I will assure you there'll be two key media in the room. There'll be two key media that are gonna help anyone that comes along here on Monday to get real breakthrough with you. So I'm not gonna give any more than that, but there will be. I don't know when they turn up. I don't know how they're gonna turn up, but you just have to be there on Monday to find out and particularly if you're in the field of business, any form of business, whether it be leadership, whether it be around finance, speaking around the future, whether it be also health, nutrition, anything along those little aspects that are the day to day, you want to be there. I'm not yeah, I've, got, I've got a board meeting at 6.30 that morning, so I'm going to push that board meeting fast to get out of there and get into the room myself. Now, before we wind up, uh, there was just that question that I wanted you to answer. What is the one consideration that people should have when going into media? Look, the, the number one consideration when, work, when working with the media is why are you doing it? Why, for what reason are you doing it and you want to be doing it? Because I think the natural thing is, you know, there's got to be a call to action. We don't just do media for the sake of ego and presenting ourselves above our competitors and look at me, look at me. To do media, these are the little sound bites, these are the little bits that you're building to create that awareness around who you are and what you do. 
So you want to ask the question why. It's not for everyone, Russell. It's not for everyone. I've come across plenty of speakers that just would not be suited for media full stop. Not just for their own personal brand or their business brand. It just doesn't come out of them. They're actually more happy suited to going away and not having a higher profile. But for those that want to stand up and stand out, this is a great platform to do it. I mean, we can all do beautiful pamphlets and beautiful presentations, showreels, et cetera. And by the way, this is the best thing for your showreel. You want to be that person that's been on the project, Russell. You want to be that person that's been on the Today Show or the project because that's when, that's when people start to go, I know who you are. I've seen you on the projects. I need to get you on. I need you to get speaking for me. So there's, there's the thing. But if when you're in the media, the reason why you're doing it the reason why is so important and the why is because you want to be the speaker that leads the way. You want to be top of your, your game and media is such a great uh, opportunity to go away and tell people that uh, it's Tampa Bay. Yeah, it's a great tool uh, and you can really leverage the hell out of it. Um, now, uh, we'll wind up. Uh, everyone who's coming to convention, make sure you book in for the workshop on the Monday. Uh, make sure you, you hang out and say hello to Nick during the weekend. Uh, Nick, during uh, bef before and after convention, how can people get in touch with you and Media Stable? Look, mediastable.com.au. Get on the website, have a look around. Um, look, I'm available to every speaker. If there's one commitment I've given to any group or any organisation, it's to the speakers. My mobile number is 0415 064 413. Feel free to reach out to that. Um, or alternatively, my mobile, uh, my email is nick, N-I-C, at mediastable.com.au. But the most important thing is that speakers, they're a big, important part of the media. They're, big, they're a very important part of Media Stable. And we want to keep making the speakers, particularly the PSA speakers, uh, shine. You don't have to be a CSP, but it does help. But I tell you what, if you're a speaker that wants to go away and raise their profile and build it, just put your hand up and say, I want to do it, be good at it, and be available. Well, Nick Hayes, Media Stable, Diamond Sponsor for Professional Speakers Australia Convention 2020. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for your support. Uh, for everyone out there who's watching, if you haven't booked a ticket yet, do go to psaconvention.com.au and book your ticket today. And we will see you in Adelaide in March. Thanks very much. Thanks, Russell.